This is one of the most the most delectable and prettiest desserts. Uh, Thank and you. these are the little Jack B. Littles. Uh, they're little pumpkins. And uh, what are you going to do with them? Well, I'm going to take the top out of them and candy them because. So many times you get a dessert served in something that you can't eat. Right. And here you have something that is delicious when it's cooked. Right. And unfortunately, many times you'll get one that's not cooked and it's like, what a waste. Oh, I and that know. was my inspiration to this. Good. Candied pumpkin can be, can be so good. Here we go. Oop. Oh, so and the easy. Other thing, the and other I'm thing still about sawing. It, exactly. If you have to do 500 of oh, them for I, service, and I do. It's, not going to, it's not going to happen. And so just. Scrape out all the seeds and all the gunk. Yep. So you end up with a nice clean edge. Yes. Nice clean hole. Okay, good. Well, mine's good too. Look. Yes, exactly. Mine's cleaner than yours. Look. Well, not everyone is Martha. <laughs> <laughs> so okay. then we're going to move on to candying them. Okay. Now we're going to candy them in a sugar syrup. Now, the thing about sugar is it's hygroscopic, it likes water. So if I were just Oops. to put this in a heavy syrup, it would actually make this tight and hard because oh. the sugar would draw the water out. Oh. So the way this recipe works is we put the pumpkins into the syrup. There's more there for you all. Yeah. Okay. We put them into the syrup with the lids. We're going to use yeah. the lids as well. And we're going to add the sugar gradually. That's the Oh, so this is only water in here? This water and sugar, oh, okay. part of the sugar. Okay, part of the sugar. Yeah. So this is two cups of sugar and three cups of water. Yeah. Now, and, um, we're, we're going to make these seasonal and spicy. We're going to add some spices to oh, these as delicious. well. Oh, delicious. All these spices? Yes. So three sticks of cinnamon. Mm -hmm. No, no, no. First we're going to oh. heat them. I'm sorry. Oh, I'm sorry. sorry. We're going to heat them up. Okay. One whole nutmeg. And um, the cloves, star anise, and black peppercorn. Okay. There. Oh, so you're bringing out the flavor We're going to bring out the oils. Okay. Release the oils in them. Okay. So we can leave those there because I think you have some more right here. Okay. They're already toasted for oh, us. Oh, okay. And some fresh ginger. And we're going to tie that up into a little sachet. Okay. Once it comes to a boil, the first time, this is uh, three, uh, two cups of uh, sugar and three cups of water to a boil. And you're going to add your sachet. And then you'll add uh, one more cup of sugar once it comes to a boil. When it comes to a boil again, you'll add another cup of sugar. Oh, so a lot of sugar. Yeah, it's a lot of sugar. Oh, it makes okay. a delicious syrup that you can use to uh, sweeten and flavor other things. You can like put it candied in. Candied orange peel. Candied orange peel. Oh, good. So I'm going, to leave a long, I'm going to leave a long string so you can take that yeah. out. Okay. Okay. And this is a little bit low in the pot, so we can fill the, um, fill oh. the pumpkins oh, with, okay. with, with them, okay. with the syrup as well. Okay. And again, we're rushing it a little bit here, but it's just to give you an idea. Okay. Because right here, I think we have some more prepared for us. Okay. Yeah, there's, right some, the side. there's some that have already been cooked. So we oh, and look what happens. You see how beautiful oh, they become? Good one. They become translucent. Can you see how glistening these are? How pretty they are? Oh, and they're tender. And they're very oh, tender. Oh, they are tender. So the only thing you're going to need to do if you're going to use them for a container is to turn them upside down and let them drain. To sweeten them, I use brown sugar. Uh, you can use different sugars. I've used one called molasses sugar from England that um, is not Brown sugar in America is white sugar with molasses added back mm -hmm. into right. it. This is one that has a little bit more flavor. Okay, so anyway, I'm three going to make a syrup with sugar, it. two tablespoons of water. Yes. Okay. I'm just going to make a syrup with that. Okay. And you have one cooled for you already oh, here. Oh yes. And I use that with the egg yolks. Okay. There's less a chance of cooking the egg yolks with the sugar. Oh, I Sometimes see. you put sugar with egg yolks and you get these hard little bot. Oh yeah, knots we, we in don't it. want we that. We don't want that. Not we want a very silky, smooth custard. Okay. The um, water helps with that as well. So what's making the custard? How much is it? Cream, heavy cream? Then it's heavy cream. We have um, actually it's a mixture of heavy cream and whole milk. We have a okay. quarter cup uh, plus one tablespoon of heavy cream and a quarter cup of, of milk that we've scalded. And we're going to add that to this okay, while you whisk. Oh, I see. So the sugar in the egg yolks is the best thing to do. Okay. Yeah. All these little hints are what the chefs, what makes chef chefs and us home cooks. Now we're going to strain that just in case there are any little lumps. Okay. We have different sizes of Jack B. Littles. So if you end up with extra custard, you can bake that in an espresso cup. Yeah, in a or, custard cup. Or custard cup or a coffee cup. When I was sick, I used to love to get sick, but I never got sick. But if I ever got sick, my mother would make me a cup of custard. 
and uh, and I would get get that in a little custard cut. It was so nice. Well, and actually, but your crew, never with a creme brulee. Your topping. crew is fantastic. Look at that. Not a drop extra. Perfect. Now we're going to add just a little bit of warm water to the pan. Okay. And this is to help regulate the temperature in your oven because you don't want your temperature to get too hot hmm. or to ch because then you don't want a curdled custard. So 325? 325. For how long? Um, if it is for uh, 40 to 45 minutes. Oh, okay. And I'm just grabbing this here. We're going to cover them when we put them in the oven. Okay, so and that's, a little parchment that, again, and a little... little parchment, a little foil. Again, this is to regulate the temperature in the oven. You don't want too much heat from the top and, and to burn come, the custard. So here they are, look how cute. And there's the custard all baked. And if you turn that upside down, the custard is cooked. It will not fall out. Nope. First, a little powdered sugar, okay. because I like the look of that on the shell of the pumpkin. And then a little bit of turbinado sugar. I'm just gonna do one that I'm gonna try after you. Now, look, I put a little bit too much sugar on there. That's oh. not a trouble. Oh. You just pour it back out. Oh, okay. So just a little bit? Yep, just a little bit. Okay. And then for the top, we do the same thing. We just dip it in, actually, into the sugar. Oh, cute. And this you can try at home. Oh, just I, have, don't get... I have one of these in my kitchen. Just don't get too close. It's very hot where it's very, very blue. Move and, it around to make it even. And it smells so good. Oh. Yes. Here, oh, wait, I want to do mine. <laughs> and look how beautiful. Wow. And what a great dessert. It's just beautiful to break through. So pretty.